first of all, I feel that there's a pluralistic audience for an institution like the Hirschhorn, that there's not one audience. And I believe that if you do a very diverse program, if you, if you deal with multiple disciplines, uh, and by that I mean if you're dealing with painting, sculpture, architecture, design, film, performance, video, and so forth, uh, you can reach multiple audiences. And it's my feeling that if we can expand the range of responsibilities for this institution to deal with these different disciplines, uh, and what you're going to see is a huge commitment uh, at the institution uh, to not only painting and sculpture, which we'll continue to do and works on paper, but also to new media, new technology, new media. We're going to be moving in that direction in a major way. We've done a lot already in that area. We've commissioned artists who are dealing with new media, dealing with installation, uh, dealing with new technology, and that's going to be part of the future. So what you're going to see here is a program that is very wide-ranging, that deals with different media, deals with different technique, technology, uh, deals with a wider range of artists expressing their own inner voice in very unique ways. I think the important thing is that we take, we take our clues in terms of what we do here from the creative artists. We're a museum of modern contemporary art. So we spend a lot of time talking to artists, talking to artists not only uh, in the disciplines like say painting and sculpture, but to architects, to theater people, to people in the world of literature, uh, to filmmakers, to video artists, and so on. And I think what you're going to see is that they are pushing the boundaries. They're, first of all, they're crossing disciplines. And this is not something that's new. Robert Rauschenberg made movies, he did performances, he did sculpture, he did painting, he did works on paper, he did photography. Andy Warhol did the same thing. But it's becoming much more pervasive, it's becoming much more intense, and I think what you're going to see now in the future is artists reaching into every area of the new digital age. And they're going to be using that just like they used uh, traditional media, conventional media, but they're going to use the new media, the new technology, and they're going to reach larger audiences, and they're going to move to a certain degree beyond the museum. Well, I'll give you uh, one example. We are working on a major exhibition and a conference uh, at the Hirshhorn on the animated world. Uh, and as we know, animation has a long history, going back to Walt Disney and moving forward and so on. We know what Pixar, Pixar has accomplished and so on. But it is changing drastically now. Artists in China, artists in Japan, artists in certain countries of Europe, artists in this country of the United States are now using animation uh, to animate the world. Uh, and so when we do the animation exhibition, we're going to talk about the past history, but we're going to also talk about the future. And then we want to also move beyond this building and we want to animate them all. Because cities are now dealing with issues of animation. Uh, and you see it to a certain degree in Tokyo, in the Ginza. You see it to a certain degree in New York and Times Square. So here's a genre of art, animation, which has been really limited to the theater that is going to now move into the museum world and then it's going to also move into the city in which we live and shape the, the environment in which we're all going to live in the future. So, and there's a wide range of artists that are working in this area and they're not just filmmakers and animation artists, but it's also architects like Rem Kulaus, for example. I, I think that's going to change. I think museums will always have a function in building a collection and showing uh, to the public the history of what's happened over a period of time. That's a very high priority for this institution. But I think at the same time, it's going to move into a larger context. And museums are going to have to have the, the, the ability. And a new type of curator might emerge that uh, uh, sort of sees a larger context and sees how artists can participate, especially in museums of modern and contemporary art, that sees uh, how artists can make a contribution to not only the public spaces surrounding the Hirshhorn, uh, uh, to the mall, and to cities like Washington, D.C.